Hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to make this beautiful exhaust manifold assembly in fusion 360 so what we have here is one two three outlet from each cylinder that will carry the exhaust smoke and it will all get connected to a singular pipe here so basically I will be teaching you how to make this design and uh, let me first of all let me clear just make thing that this pipe the bending and all the curve are just random drawn there is no dimension of course it is up to you how you want to uh, design these pipes um, basically I'm a type of I'm a line kind of you know a person who likes the straight lines rather than curves so uh, I have used straight lines and then used some fillets and radius to give uh, uh, you know the beautiful curves here but you can also use spline to make it more curvy but I will show you with the with the lines so let's get started without wasting any time first of all we will start by making these four outlets for each cylinder and then we will be making this um, the combined shaft here and then in the final part of the video uh, we will be making these uh, pipes in the last portion of the video. So let's get started without wasting any time. So switch to new workspace and click on create a sketch and on the front plane start by making some drawings. So what I'm going to do is go to create and I need to make a slot. Yeah, here is the slot. So select center to center slot like this and draw a slot like this without having any dimension of course now press D for dimension give this dimension not this one uh, just delete it press D for dimension and give this dimension the inclined one as 100 mm now switch on the construction mode and draw one vertical construction line and another horizontal construction line like this now press D for dimension and from origin oh now one more thing uh, click on uh, center circle and right on middle of this portion draw a circle of diameter 40 press D for dimension and this is and make uh, uh, this the radius the radius of this portion press D for dimension and select this and right click go to diameter and make it a diameter of 25 like this of course now press D for dimension and select on this line and this point and make it uh, and make it coincidence by selecting this coincidence and this line and this point so make it coincident like this now again press D for dimension from this point to origin make this dimension as 155 mm like this beautiful now the next thing is what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a point so go to create go to point and draw up make one point here press default dimension and from this point to this this line to this point make it 25 mm like this and from this uh, the horizontal line to this point make the dimension as 13 mm like this so we have one point which is constrained and last thing is to press D and select this line and the the vertical the horizontal construction line and give the angle as 45 degrees like this now we have a fully constrained sketch now what I'm going to do is again click on create click on point this time make a point here and press D for dimension and select these two lines and give the dimension as 25 we are doing just same the dimension as this point but this time it's downwards and select this line to this point and give this a dimension of 30 now once done what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line from this point to this point and this point to this point and again repeat the same step from this point to this point and this point now I'm going to make the tangent relationship select this line and this circle select this line and this circle this line and this circle this line and this circle and make all these tangent to one another now click on fillet and select this point 
and give their radius of 22.5 here and repeat the same for this point also give it 22.5 now once done what i'm going to do is go to create go to rectangular pattern select all these sketch and the distance type would be the spacing and direction would be this the quantity would be 4 and the distance the spacing between each component that is going to be 110 and press ok now just to be sure that every pattern is ok press d for dimension and check the dimension from this point to this point it was supposed to be 101 uh, 10110 now once done you may finish the sketch now click on extrude and select all the profiles that is outside the circle that means this one apart from the circle select all the profiles that you have drawn and extrude it backwards up to a distance of minus 10 like this now press shift and n to enable the color toggle assembly now once turn again go to now bring back your origin plane like this and we are going to create an offset plane so offset the front plane and offset it right side up to a distance of minus oh okay we are uh, making the positive side so this is going to be 405 like this and press ok now we have a plane here now click on create a sketch on on this plane click on make a sketch so press l for line from origin draw a construction line like this and go to create go to rectangle go to center rectangle and from this point draw a center in the construction mode of course like this press d for dimension and give this dimension as 44.5 and this one also 44.5 so we are making an square and from this point to the outer edge this dimension is going to be 177.75 and press ok now once done press c for circle and this time switch off the construction mode and draw four circle of dia 40 42.5 on four side of the uh, square so this is going to be 44 42.5 right click and drag upwards to repeat the command so this is going to be 42.5 and again 42.5 now once done you may finish the sketch now click on extrude and extrude all the four circles towards one side up to a distance of 5 mm like this beautiful now go to shell command and click all these faces and inside thickness would be 1.25 like this and go to extrude select this 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 and this and extrude cut them to make a ring like a structure now once done just switch off the origin now what i'm going to do is i'm going to construct an axis between uh, to the all circles so click on axis through cylindrical cone select this one this one okay you, you we need to repeat that so for that right click drag upwards and make a axis on each point like this one right click drag upwards that the shortcut to repeat your command now once done similarly i'm going to make to construct and i'm going to point at center of circle spare or torso so similarly just just like we did the excess click on this face and draw a point on the circle on the center 
like this like this and on this face like this on this face and on this way so once then don't forget to save your data to ensure a security of your data so once then now the next thing is to go for the pipes here because as i told you in the first part of the video that we will be making the pipe in the last section of the video now what i'm going to do is switch on construction plane and from zoom and zoom in and from this point this surface draw another offset plane rightwards up to a distance of minus 150 like this and press ok now rotate the view and click on create a sketch and from this point we will be making a, a line a circle so from draw a line like this and make it coincident with this point and this point and on this circle center from center draw a circle of dia 60 mm like this and finish the sketch now once done click on extrude and extrude this circle right side up to a distance of 30 mm so make it 30 now once done what i am going to do is i am going to close these circles here so for that just uh, let me just make it perspective yeah so go to press pull select this and drag it upwards till it closes the circle there is no dimension of course just make it close like this repeat the press pull command four times right click drag upwards and close now yeah so once done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some lock between these two four faces and to this one this face so for that i'm going to go to create go to loft and select this face and this one and the continuity would be curvature continuity for both side like this and make sure uh, to change the operation not as join either to make it a new body or new component and so this time i'm going to be for new body the reason why i am doing this if we select if selected the join then it this would have been joined with the this body but for for each uh, for the rest of the three loft we need this face so that that's why i'm going to make this in a body separate body so this is body 10 just hide it for now now again go to create go to loft select this profile and repeat the same step for all the profile this is going to be curvature this is going to be curvature and select as new body and press ok now hide this body too repeat the same command create loft select this select this go to curve make it curvature continuity would be curvature select this as new body like this and okay now hide this body too okay we have one two three and the only thing left is this one so again go to go to create go to loft select this face and this face and the curvature would be curvature make it curvature like this select the join operation as new component new body sorry and press ok now bring back all the four bodies like this go to combine and select all the bodies that you want to combine so all the four loft and all the faces and all these four bodies that we have used for loft like this one and this and this and you can create a new component for now and press ok now we have a new component here and this body is 10 just hide it and we have a new component here now uh, so the now the only thing left is to make a pipe between these two points 
and then we will be making uh, and to hollow the pipe we will be using the shell command so that's that that is for today guys uh, uh, rest thing will be covered in the next part of the video which will be uploaded the very next day of uploading this video so hope you guys will enjoy the video don't forget to check the next video and the link of the both of the videos can be found in the description below so hope you guys will enjoy don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day